Hello, I want to, in this video, illustrate a way to use the saved uh, display function of QTVLM to serve, uh, to serve as like a, a dual screen display where we're looking at two different views of the chart at the same time. But uh, so here I have a, a zoomed in view where I'm watching my boat where I want to see. I'm looking at here's my heading, here's my COG predictor. So I'm headed this way and getting set that way. Uh, getting set over here this way and I want to know that so I've got to look I've got to off and run zoom zoomed in on the boat to see what's going on but at the same time so what I could do then is in this situation like this this is a view I want for looking at the boat closely so I'm going to now I'm on a Mac so I'm doing command F9 if you were on a PC you would do uh, control F9 and now let's say that the broader view I want to up the other way I want to see where I'm going where I'm going, and I'm going, let's say I take this view here, where uh, it shows a bigger view. Now I can also change that display. I can, I can just change, simplify the display to look like that if I want to, or I can go back to where it was, like this. But anyway, this is a larger view, so I see my icon here, and I can see where I am. When I'm halfway across, I'll see it, and so forth. So this is a view I might want to bounce to. So I'll call this Command F10, F10. So now I'm done on that. So then when I want to look back at my boat, I press the F9 key, and I'm in here looking at the boat doing that. And then if I want the bigger view, I go back and put F11. So that's a nice trick you can do. We have this, uh, these details outlined of how you set this up in the cheat sheet, but it's just as simple as what I just did. The other thing we can do is, let me see here, F11, if I set this up right, yeah. So here's now, I've set up a, I've got down to the entrance to uh, Shul Shoal Bay Marina, and let's say I wanna use these keys to study uh, the de comparison of raster chart and a vector chart without changing anything else. So I've set that up for F key 11, right? And then I can press F12, and I've set this one up for a raster a raster chart. And this is done exactly the same way. Uh, just be sure to turn on a single chart only when you lock it in. And then, uh, then I can go back and forth and study a raster, compare raster and vector. You know, it's, you know, one thing is having them side by side, this is the next best step. Okay, so that's, a, that's the end of that. It just shows this uh, powerful feature. The other, other cases too is you can have one for your home dock and in other words you have four of the four storage places f9 10 11 and 12 and you can use various ways you can use those various ways that's just one example here thank you